All right, so we have to test this out real quick. I just actually put a new main gear on the front diff here. It finally wore out. It's the original from when I first got this thing. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna try this out. I put, <coughs> excuse me, some screws on the rear wing here. So I wanna see if they spark. And then I just put a mount here. Mostly because here soon I wanna do a couple speed runs. And I'm gonna put this on 8S eventually, not today. Uh, and see how long this motor can take it. I'm gonna wait until I actually order the uh, Spectrum replacement. I'm gonna do the, uh, I think I'm gonna do the 1100 KV, maybe the eight, but probably 1100 KV most likely. So I think that'll fit better. Uh, or I might even do a 1650 and just keep this running as a success. Uh, but this is gonna get a new motor eventually well, first change the steering trim a little bit we're supposed to have this big crippling snowstorm and supposed to potentially shut down the whole state you couldn't see my eye roll just now, but you could probably hear it in my voice. So I'm gonna go out in the front yard here in the street, test this out a little bit. You see, I've got the belted Street Fighters on. It's not just because I haven't run them in so long. Uh, I said mount on top because I keep breaking these, and until I get another body, I'm not gonna try to fasten another one onto that. And like I said, try to see if these screws will spark on the pavement. <laughs> oh, that seems to be straight. Whew, we we'll put a hood on because I don't know where my people's from. But it wasn't cold. All right, let's get that recording there. I don't even know if this is. Yep. All right. Ooh, fur. All right, so front dish should be quieter now. Yep. better and it sparks cool Why is it doing that? Weird. Some of the steering is off. You know what? At risk of breaking my camera. <laughs> Did exactly what I thought it was going to. So built-in tires suck for backflips. Real quick, let's fix this. Oh, 
one of the screws came out, but it worked. So these wheels, belted, so the only reason why I don't use these because for back flips, things like that, they're not great. These are really for speed runs and trying to do laps. So this is done. Play around so I have to hit the grocery store. I bet you one of those pins is broken up the rear diff again. Hey, <laughs> good, how are you? Oh yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> I'm ready for spring and summer, really. Just out of curiosity, because I personally don't think that without a lot of effort, I think I'm going to rebuild that rear diff. I think we've got a broken pin.
barely. Pin broke. It's that cheap one that I just put in the front. Son of a bitch. Those cheap ass pins from Amazon are garbage. It's the second one I've used, and it's the second one that didn't last a battery. So, I don't even remember what brand it was. This cheap ass shit. Don't use this cheap ass shit. <laughs> Alright, for well that, that's a good enough test for what I wanted today. Alright, so tested out these screws I put on the rear wing. Eh, Y'all will add this into the video, but testing this out, there were three, lost one. Uh, basically just trying to see if this is for sparks and all that, you know, on the rear wing. So when I mount the camera and have it facing the rear wing, every once in a while you can actually get some spark action, you know, because I'm a child in this grown-ass man's body. Anyway, uh, just got through running it, so I'll put the video up here in just a second, but didn't finish the battery. I changed the differential out earlier today, the main gear, because... It wore out, but I used one of those cheap ass pins that I got in this screw kit, and here we are. I was wondering why it kept turning weird, accelerating weird, because, well, see how that differential action works? And see how this one? Oh, half ass, but yeah, uh, well, yeah, it doesn't work. So, bitch, so now I gotta take this whole diff apart. I just put damn near the end of my uh, 50,000 CST, my 50,000 weight diff fluid. Uh, I might have to go pick up some more before everything closes tonight, damn it. But I just put the rest of it in there so it's fresh fluid and that stupid pin broke. So now back to work. Stupid, cheap ass pin. All right, uh, Oh, I'll go with Mark Santa Maria real quick. These are those little pins I'm talking about. This is uh, those little cheap ass pieces of shite. So this is one of the Arma ones. And they've all broken. I know people have these little workarounds they do. Like they'll make their own out of drill bits or whatever. I ain't doing that right now. Uh, anyway, focus in there. See if it'll focus. Maybe not. Anyway. These break, they go in the sun gear there. But those little cheap ones that came out of this here, I mean, it was just like a $10 box of screws. I won't do that one again because, well, a lot of them stripped out. It just turned into a pain in the ass. Um, and these pins kept breaking. So, it's diff that I just put back together a couple hours ago. Right back to square one. Well, right back to taking it apart again. Anyway, throw this back together, run this battery down, and have some fun. All right, you guys. Looks like I have the skate park solo for a little bit. It's almost dark, and then we're supposed to get like two, three feet of snow, five feet of snow, something like that. I don't know. I don't believe it. I believe it when I see it. But anyway, so I'm going to go take the Notorious out for a little bash while we can and have some fun. All right, it's cold enough for plastic to be brutal, so I kind of expect something to break, but I'll still have the Italian. And if anything breaks on this one at this point, specifically bulkheads, things like that, because I'm running this, all the plastics and stuff are stock, except for the wing mount. So 
This is a stock Notorious, except for, I mean, there's a couple major parts. So I've changed the servo, box, the, uh, the servo, it's the stay box, um, 1210 SG, I think it is. Uh, I've added, or I've changed the uh, ESC, that's the Spectrum Firma 160, 160 amp, 8S ESC. And then of course, trenchers, RPM wing mount, and this is a Typhon wing. Uh, other than that, just diff fluids. So, 50K, 50K, uh, and then silicone earplugs. So let's take this to the skate park real quick. Put my mask on. Just in case someone tries to talk to me. And cause it keeps my face warm. bring this with me just so I'll have my 4S batteries too. So here soon I'm going to get the Spectrum, the 1250 KV for this one. And once I order it, I'm going to put this 2050 KV on some 8S action and see how it does. See how long it lasts. <laughs> ah. Ah, what'd we break? <laughs> and, ah, oh, A-arm broken. Dog bone, suspension pin, shim. Oh, it just pulled out. Okay. 
Let's see here. Time to go aluminum. Boo! Still fun. So I also think part of that was putting a little extra piece on this little support here. Kind of influenced this a little bit, I think. <laughs> Time to go where it's warm. We're two for two on this one. Twice I've come to this park and broke something. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of, it's to be expected. <laughs> now we'll just make sure I find all the parts that we that fell off. <laughs> Maybe next time. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, I think it's time to go aluminum with this one. Because that is one thing the Italian's better at, or better with. There's little impacts like that. Just replaced that rear bulkhead and the suspension mount, a little pin holder. Uh, just replaced that, what, day before yesterday? Yesterday? Um, already broke it, but kind of expected that. I didn't think it was going to last long, so I'm honestly thinking part of it is because how I have these shocks put on to support the uh, wing mount. I need to readjust these next time. Um, so they fit a little bit better and then this is gonna actually we're upgrading that bulkhead well, gearbox to uh, an aluminum setup similar to how I have here but we're just gonna go with a different brand just to try it out uh, the hot racing has been real nice so we're gonna finish the hot racing on the Italian and then go GPM for the notorious and then this one We'll see. This one's going to get an RPM and aluminum kind of mix, but it's definitely getting an aluminum chassis. Uh, so I've got some things in the store for that one. And then I'm waiting on this 4S here because I heard Arma's going to come up with some updates on the 4S line. So before I spend money upgrading and all that, I want to see what they have first. Uh, 
because it might be worth it to go with some of the new things that they come out with and we'll see um, but this is definitely for the notorious we're definitely going with the aluminum bulkheads but ah, I'm hungry so I'm gonna go hang out with my girlfriend eat some food I'll see y'all next time